make an Instagram post here, guys. If you don't follow me on Instagram, John underscore Doc One. You're missing out. Uh, let's see here. South Georgia Motorsports Park, lights out. Round one. Sorry, not round one. Testing. T1. Uh, solid roller, first time out. We're going to see what it does. Leave the same tune up in there as before. Bump up the shift RPM just a little bit and uh, see what happens. Logie, hit him with the rundown. Give him the full, give him the full blown rundown while I get ready. We're here at South Georgia Motorsports Park. Spent eight hours driving down here. Stopped at the worst KFC you could think of in your the life. The worst. The no, worst. Combo deal with, with, uh, with Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Close it. <laughs> they need they need to close it. Somewhere no merch. In Georgia. Brought no merch. No merch. Uh, it's 73 right now. We're gonna have a high of 83 later today. Come on, man. I can't really see Logan with the Hogan, <laughs> the black sheep for the first time, and you ain't got no damn merch. You heard it here first. Hey, like, where are like we at? Huh? Tell them where we're at. South Georgia Motorsport Park. <laughs> Lights out with the black sheep. Ooh. My man hit it. God, I didn't bring any merch, guys. I didn't bring any merch. I heard it. He's like, hey, I'm going to get a shirt. And I'm like, hey, yeah. <laughs> damn it. I didn't bring any merch. So, you just got to leave like, you that, just got to start leaving like right, 10 right, in the right, trailer for guys right, like that. Time out. I will never again go to race without any merch. From this moment on, going forward, understand that. I got exposed on camera. That shit was yeah, real. Yeah. John can get ready, man. Make your post, all right?
your tires off. About. Turn it down a little, go back out. Uh, Alright, did I give a... I don't think I gave an update. Nope. So, new camshaft, first shakedown. We just left the 412 tune-up in there. And this tune-up has changed a lot. Made a whole lot more boost, a whole lot sooner. It pulled three Gs right off the start line. Uh, which is very close to like the max. What did know? it used to pull? Uh, two seven, two uh, like we went, we went like 103, 60 foot, 2.7, 2.8 Gs. Right there, that was like 2930. So, and then at 0.5 into the run, it made 42 pounds of boost, which we generally don't do that. So, the camshaft is uh, it's just a different profile. It's a lot more, you know, black camshaft. That was in here before. It's a badass camshaft, world's fastest hydraulic roller camshaft. We drive that thing around in the street. It's streetable. It's like a, the baddest hydraulic roller camshaft on planet Earth that you can, and you can still drive it around and do whatever you want to. This is a purpose built camshaft just for this combination on this car to run in LDR. So as you can see, it acts a little bit different. So we toned it down. We want to get down. We want to get some data. We're going to turn some more RPM and see how second shakedown goes.
big ride on the smart car on the way to the lanes. Oh, God. Half the battle of the race is... Half the battle is getting to the lanes. What do you want me to do, Logan? Oh, uh, I love this. Oh, God. Look at this guy. This is uh, Tom Hanks from The Castaway. Don't look over here. The hardest part is getting to the staging lanes. Just because there's like a million, like you got security over here, people parked in the way. That's part of it. It's like you come for the chaos a little bit. <clears throat> Matt's in the most stressful position because the, the smart car pushes directly behind the race car and you can't see shit and you can't see over it. So <laughs> you're waiting for someone to be like, come on or stop. And generally whoever's in the race car is not doing that. They're just holding the wheel. And then like, Matt knows, I'll look back at you when there's no one. You know that, right? Yeah. When I look back, I'm either like, did you see that? Or um, I think you're missing something. So, or there's no one in front of us. So, yeah. That's what we're doing. So we're going to- Oh God, the door's open. Just shut the door. Oh God. <laughs> Got to lose the door. Huh? I'm about to lose the game. Yeah, Logan's hand signals are like this. He's like, he's, he's just like, like doing that, fucking that, random like shit. Like so. He has no, he has no idea. It's just when when you get here, it's just a, a giant. This is the fun part that you guys don't get to see all the time. Also, if you guys really pay attention from the video series for the rest of the week, you'll see everyone else but myself turn into lobsters, because the entire crew minus myself is just pale. Like, they don't tan, they burn. Me, I'm gonna be looking golden brown, I'm gonna be looking good. Maybe get a little some oil out, and we'll be you good to go. Some olive oil on so, that Some oil, yeah, I'll, yeah, I mean, exactly, so. That's the plan. We're gonna go up here. Track's hot, track's gotta be hot. This is the hottest race we've done all year. So track's gonna be hot. We're gonna try to get down. We pulled a bunch of power out of it. We just need to go A to B, see how much different the cam is acting, and then we'll have a good baseline.
Well, we had a slight issue. I need to, I need to push on it. You need to spin it over. Oh, I don't know. I think it just, it was rattling back and forth and finally, like, got it. Alright, spin the motor over. Guys, I'm new to the the, uh, the solid roller game. I'm very new to. Ready? push rods they're two different lengths okay as you can see they're two different colors adult <laughs> supervision is key so I messed up putting them in and I put them in the wrong hole but I had the lash set correctly but some of the cups were not in the right position so we swapped them put them back on did not tighten down the nuts, the three nuts that hold the rocker stand on here. Come on, I'll show you right here. So the way these rockers work are you got your intake and exhaust are on a bar. They bolt down by these three nuts. It's like a stud. And this is your adjuster. So I didn't tighten these down. Set it. Went and made a pass. When we got done with the pass, they were down there just hand tight. They weren't torqued to spec. There you go. Now it's got a new adjuster in it, but before the push rod popped out, broke the adjuster, hopped out, fell down there, beat up the rocker, uh, bent the, the bar a little bit, called Sheldon, t and Rocker Arms, t and Machine Products. They do all our rocker arms for all of our motors. We really only run t and They're on the 481X as well. And called him up, he's like, they have a they have a, a, a bunch of orders, but he's like, we'll get whatever you need out to you. So they're gonna look and see what they got. Ready? Mm. Broke the, the corner of the cup off. Mm. Not not ideal. So the, this new one doesn't have the oil hole. The band though. No. So that's what? Just make, that's just the oil of the rocker. But there's so much oil in the top end, the rocker doesn't really need any lubrication. It's that's not just heavy. it's just one way that T and D oils the rockers. Other ones do splash lubrication. So it's kind of like we already right. confirmed it with Sheldon that it's okay. Let me let me put this on because I need to write my wrongs. All right. Well, that's your best We also, we found this out by looking at the EGTs. We knew something was wrong with number five. So honestly, without the EGTs, we wouldn't have known. It made zero noise. It made zero noise. You would have, you, we would have went and run it again and damaged stuff even more. Half moon. Yeah, that's for the valve cover. <clears throat> but we're, we we've also in the tray. Look in the socket tray. We're gonna have more spares coming tonight and tomorrow. All right. We're slow, slowly growing spares by breaking stuff. I like it. Well, I had a whole set of spares, but yeah, they got used. Some spares. I mean, it backed the whole stud out. Is that just from the vibration? Yeah. The thing is, 
the uh, steel rockers. Those things took a beating. Yeah, aluminum ones don't play the valve. You need to pull it up into the push rock cup. Yeah. So can you, can you explain what kind of what type of blower that was? As a screw blower. Yeah. Our roots have like got like a root system style where they intertwine like this. The screws a little bit different. It's a lot easier to turn. It takes a lot more less horsepower. Big turn it a lot harder. Some, is huh? this one cup the same cup that was in there? Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. I know, I was just getting it so I could put it on without it falling below the cup. Because once the bar is on, it can get in the cup. Yeah, I think it's the Matt was just explaining that one adjuster we put in there. You can see the adjuster. They oil, there's different ways, like TND, they oil through the adjuster into the rocker body and then oils the bearing. Just oil straight through and splash lubricates. A few different ways. The other one oils your valve springs better. Maybe, you know, there's, there's a lot of. When this thing's running, is this whole thing just full of oil? Yeah. That's why you need good drain back. Does this have a pretty good drain back? Yeah. Okay. That's why you see some heads will have like holes actually drilled in the back. The valley. Like, well, uh, the, some have here. Yeah. Well, those most. If it's low, it's probably for the coolant. If it's high, it's for uh, oil drain back. Like they'll drain back into the back of the pan. Certain engines take a lot of oil in the valve train. Um, LS usually is not one of them. So, all right, hose it off with some brake clean. Put the valve cover on it. Crank it up. Rev it. Yeah, let's go ahead and check all the. I want you to check the other fucking spark plugs if that one's a good piece. Guys, I just got filmed with Sheldon, TND, Rocker Arms, TND Machine Products. We run all of their Rocker Arms and everything. Um, I call him, I'm like, hey man, I tore this shit up. And I need some spares. I do got Travis, you guys know Travis uh, from LS Nasty, of course. You heard him in the Island Boys intro in the other video. Um, I got some, some junk laying around the shop that we could probably piece together. But Sheldon called me. They're in California right now. It's five o'clock here in Georgia. Got an intake, got an exhaust, got everything. They put a whole assembly together for us to replace it, getting it sent over overnight. So that kind of support, unbelievable. If you are on the wait list at TND, waiting for your rockers, it's worth the wait, well worth the wait. And uh, you don't find that everywhere so huge shout to shells at TND. we run their sticker on the car we run the rockers in every single vehicle we got it's one of those things there's, there's a lot of products out there and they most might both be similar and you know they perform the same but then one might have the support the one that has the support that's the one you're going to need to go with uh, there's a lot of a really really amazing people that when this car goes down the track it's not just 
us it's it's a whole army of companies and people and a lot of time and effort money and everything spent uh, to make it go down so it's a huge you know team effort so uh, I'm just stoked <coughs> Sheldon TND hooked us up so if we go you know number one qualifier we're gonna dedicate that to you Sheldon First round qualifying, LDR, we went 109 60 foot the last time, uh, and then it ran on seven cylinders shortly thereafter that, so our tune-up's not too, it, definitely not going out there, not going for personal best, not going for record. We're still in the process of gathering data and figuring out where we need to be with this new solid roller combination. So, uh, I think that if we can go out there, if we can go um, 106 to 109 in the 60 foot, if we can go 280 to the middle and then run it out the back, if we can go there and get anything, you know, it from a 25 to a 15, is anything that's doable? 25 to a 15, I think it's a good place to be right now. Get our confidence up. You know, we're learning this. We need it to go down to get some data so we know what to do for the next pass. So, I'm going to get in there and get suited up. Hey, but the real meaning of today is never eat by yourself. Shout out to Bucky's for that badass shirt. <laughs>
plenty of people here. Well, I brought the JGS in the box. Um, we found out why I went to slow. Did I not react to it with my frustration at the beginning? Yeah. Did I? I was pissed. I was pissed. Dude ran out my life, bro. Like, I was tied to a stump, okay? Like, my foot's to the floor, and dude literally came by me with like 50 mile an hour. I'm surprised. Is the door still on? I haven't looked. It's my door? Oh, I didn't even know if it was my door or not. I made a 90 on the dome. should have made about 50 pounds, but after looking at the log, it only made 35-ish pounds. So, so we go into checking mode. What yeah, do we look over? Check for cracks, check for leaks, loose leaks. So like pretty much the only thing that can cause that is like wastegate issue, Wait. Got a crack and charge pipe, intake leaking or something like but that. But my question is, the dome pressure sees 90 as long as it's feeding it, yeah. but it's not actually 90. Yeah. Because it's leaking out. Flip the switch. Listen. Is it fitting? Because it needs it needs 90 in there and it needs to have like pressure, not just like 90. Right, hold on, hold on. You can go for it, everybody. Alright. Here, leak now. Mm -hmm. Diaphragm inside. Ah, okay. Luckily, we got a backup. If it's the diaphragm, then it should be pouring out of here. Out of there? Yeah. Yeah, it's getting on the wrong side. No. Alright, let's leak it inside the voice gate and burn this out. It's coming out on, on the piston. Yeah. Go ahead and just pull that bad boy off. I'm gonna say this lighting on point. You like it? Oh, it's great. Is it? It's, it's fantastic. We've dealt with a little bit of everything today. The, today is one of those days where it really tests you. This is the toughest day of drag racing you've had. Ever. No, not ever. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Matt, did you hear that? Oh, Matt, said, Matt, Matt, did you hear that? He said this is the most you've he, had he to work this on the, the car. The toughest day of drag racing for us ever. Hey, you, you've had to work on the car all day. Yeah, I've had some that were financially much worse. Oh, well, yeah, but that was just that was just a one oops, and then it, you know you're done. This oh yeah, is, yeah, yeah. This is your wrenching on it all day. Yeah, and then you have to live with it for the next month, <laughs> and then try to two months later you're like, damn it, and then three months later you're like, this sucks. See my rock rods are still on there? Oh, Matt, looking. Oh yeah, that's pretty. That is pretty, but pretty nice. Nothing from pieces. Inspection. We need to undo it from there. Just yeah, pull no, it I'm up. Just trying to. Oh yeah, there we go. Would that be it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's it right there, folks. Looking back up. Oh, let me get, oh, let me get, get, a, light. get a light. Looks that right like it's there. Talking. It's got a mouth. Hold on. This is what it's saying. Help me. Oh, 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 one at a time, guys. Are we? We're the endless nasty boys. <laughs> 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 LS Nasty Boys trying to make it at Ducks Light Out 13. Trying to get that win in LDR. With the little LS power plan, they not faking. LS Nasty Boys. I want to mention the whole team John Dahl, Matt, Logan, LP, Travis, David, BJ, Marcus, CJ, LS Bowl. Big shout out to the LS Nasty Boys trying to make it out. All right, let's go watch some racing and find the way cake. Dude, I'm concession stands are open. Barbecue nachos. Mm. They're not open. Mm. What? They're nacho places. Where is it? Are they not here yet? No, they're not here tomorrow. God dang, they're still in. Hey, hey, hey. Logan. Watch I your mouth dang. on the channel. Logan. God dang. All right, guys. Just wrapping up this video. It is the end of... Wednesday? God, that's a lot of racing left. 
we got morning testing tomorrow and then second round qualifying which I, we're going to utilize the morning testing to the best of our abilities see if we can get everything all ironed out today was kind of one of the days where you just keep getting your ass kicked and you keep trying get your ass kicked keep trying get your ass kicked keep trying just keep getting your ass kicked keep trying so we kept trying kept trying and hey, um oh yeah we got our ass kicked all day and we're sitting 16 so uh listen no harm no foul we're uh, gonna keep rocking and rolling and get at it tomorrow so that's all for today's video hope you guys are excited for some lights out racing action we got some in car we got some out car we got some side cars some front car back car we got all the footage all the angles and uh, we're just hanging out with some cool people talking to it's really cool when you guys come up and say hey we watch the channel and it's even cooler when you come to me like hey we watch the channel and i'm not gonna say we're inspired by but maybe influenced by something that we do on the channel whether it's you know running a class or building a car or going racing it, i just think it's awesome I'm trying to use the platform for good and trying to spread positive vibes but just know this this is your warning to everyone out there i don't care if i've inspired you or not i'll still peel your muffin cap back blue just like that muffin cap will get peeled so no one's muffin cap is safe and that's something you just need to take to heart understand that just it's all you guys are informed now so thank you guys so much for watching comment like, subscribe <coughs> hide your kids hide your muffin caps we'll see you guys in tomorrow's upload